Well boys, I've <laughs> self-destructed the antenna tuner I built a while ago and decided I'm going to build another one inside another case cabinet this time completely shielded like it was before the coil outside it was causing <gasps> air of interference all over the place so yeah I thought I would uh, you know stick it inside a metal case um, <laughs> hardest part of doing what I'm doing is trying to line up all these ear holes with all these ear holes and then that ear shaft and with this little bushing so yeah so the hole here actually gonna be wide enough for this whole thing to go down to be free otherwise I'm not gonna be able to set the uh, screws and I still don't know how I'm gonna be able to set them screws to be quite honest with you uh, result. And basically all that's going to be sticking out of here once you're done is that. That's it. <laughs> and how this is going to work out is anybody's guess. But that's the idea. So yeah. I'm just waiting for my trusty little drill there to, uh, or battery to charge up. And uh, then we're going to install this. Oh yes, this is the UHF filtering by the way. The rods were bent to hell, there's no way to straighten them out, so I said to hell with it and scrapped it. But anyway, if you want to see what's inside of a St. Clair filtering, um, that's pretty much it. It's like gamma capacitors, <laughs> like gamma matches for uh, Yankees, <laughs> kind of what I like. And the inputs for the, uh, for the connectors, cabling, is just this. That is it. Nothing more, nothing less. He sat there, like that. <laughs> anyway, it was no good. I had a bunch of aluminum around casing and everything all left over. I said, what in the world am I going to do with it? And I decided I'm going to build an antenna tuner out of the case. So, here we are. Out of one half of the case, anyways. So, yeah. Now I'm just trying to get uh, this there coil to match up with these there holes. And then to be able to slide in that there case. Yeah. Uh, is it going to work? I don't know. I tried to line these up the best I could. Don't know if the, my best is good enough. <laughs> but uh, we shall see. Okay. So we've removed a piece of ceramic. Mm. We should put that back there, right? Eh? Replace that piece. Yeah, well. So basically, what's going on here is I'm using a piece of aluminum. I saw this being case. Part of that. It can be all held in with screws. What I had to do, basically, is I had to insulate both of these right here from ground so it'd be a little bit I had to try to figure something out so what I used was some spacers insulating spacers same stuff you'd see in finals and radios I've got two of those put there and I have a little tiny piece of heat shrink tubing put on the screw on the thread of the screw and keep it from going, you know, sideways. And, and I got an insulator underneath the head of the screw so it don't touch the front of the panel. So, that's what I got done. So, right now I can move this. I actually move this, move this up a tad bit, and I lose continuity on my coil. I already tested this, I put my own meter on. Right here, which will be ground, that her piece here, that her tip here, probe, and go back and forth, and I can hear exactly the same. And I remove, so I just move this wheel up a little bit, and you lose connectivity between here and here. So the uh, insulating is working. The only thing I'm thinking I'm going to have to do to to uh, level it up is put the couple down here. Still not going to matter. I'm going to have one there to level it up, obviously. 
but the hidden screw is not going to matter because we're going to need this this part here is going to be grounded anyway so it doesn't matter it's not attached to anything we're fine other than that I think we're golden on the coil and the coil will sit slide down inside of the uh, the cabinet okay so this is what the hell I uh, changed out the ceramic this is broken and uh, I put the good piece back here instead so there we go so the coil is ready to go. Ready to go. Everything's insulated. As you can see, the only thing, um, so the coil is grounded on this side, this side of the coil. There's no ground on this side of the coil. So what I got to do now is I have to make a jumper wire. Yes, a jumper wire to go from this terminal to this terminal that will effectively put a ground on both ends of your coil um, now do I want to ground the coil completely is the question um, no actually I don't think I'm going to ground the coil completely hmm. Uh, let's see if she's going to fit inside this case. Hopefully she's going to fit. <laughs> so, <laughs> here she is. This is what she's going to be like. She's going to sit in the cabinet like that. Take up about that half that much of the cabinet for sure. Now, first thing you're asking yourself, what about the trimmer capacitors? What about the connectors? <sighs> well, I am thinking about that. And the only thing I can think of, really, is to put the antenna connectors here, as well as the uh, tuning capacitors. Yeah, I know this, I know this is kind of foolish, but I think this is going to be, the best I can describe this, this is going to be a system that you would set it, put it up on a shelf somewhere, Set it to whatever frequency you're tuning it to that you want to use and forget it. <laughs> Basically, this is a set it and forget it antenna tuner. So, but yeah, bit of weight to it, but I think it's going to be awesome. We're going to reutilize the same tuning capacitors in here, plan on utilizing them. So, uh, I think this is going to be awesome myself, actually. See how she, uh, see how she works out, but uh, I think she's going to be marvelous, marvelous. Okay, <clears throat> so in part two of this video, we're going to try and mount these two tuning caps and these couple of uh, antenna connectors back here. We're going to try and mount them if we possibly can. Hopefully, there's enough room to mount them in this cover. This is the uh, the back of the tuner or the front, whatever. I'll call it the back because that's where the cap or the connectors are, I suppose. Whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. Interesting. But, yeah. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. But, uh, looking to part two of this video until we are going to mount the tuning caps and connectors here. So, yeah. And again, <laughs> that's inside. That's what's inside of a UHF filtering unit. Repeater filter. Just tuning caps, basically. Gamma matches. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so I'll see you in part two, folks. All the best.